Welcome to TinaVo.shop. So today, um, we no longer do Easter, so we are stepping into 420. So I am wanting to start out with rainbow smoke. 420 is a marijuana holiday, so I'm going to do like a couple. But first, I just want to start out with a simple technique, and then we will go into like a character and all that. Alright, and by the way, I'm not going to be on live tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, I'm off and I'll be on live again Friday. Tomorrow, I have an appointment to go to. Alright, let me add in my website. Okay. So, the website at www.tinovo.shop. And I will put in customer service. Her name is Kyla. Her phone number is 417-772-4020. Good morning, Maria. Buenos dias. All right, let's see. So I'm going to connect myself. Tino. It's fast this morning, too. Ooh. All right. Ready? All right, everyone. There we go. Okay. It's going to be stiletto today. All right. What was the angle I wanted to do yesterday? Let me try the angle yeah, yesterday. Angle, yeah, yeah angle. I was thinking I doing this angle to see if it's easy. Like this, like this angles. Yeah, I think that's good. Good. Yeah. See the angle I'm doing? Uh -huh. I think I tried this angle today. Oh, that's why I'm weak. Yeah, like this. Your eye won't be all. Yeah. Stretched. All right. Okay, so all black. I have a slight update on the last year technique on uh, rainbow smoke. Still using white ink though, but at this time we're going to use a uh, 3D jelly for blooming a little bit, and then we're going to use the ink. down this gel that I'm using called shadow is a very strong strong black gel that can be used for art but also can be used to polish too make sure you keep a thin amount on it so it can keep properly if you choose to polish it um, so he, the camera is being held by a canvas, uh, shop canvas. Yeah. Oh my God. He's selling so much. Um, now this month is what completely packed. His worker went working nonstop. It had become like a really, really popular things so now. Canvas, uh, canvas light, which surprised me because it's very expensive. It's like $200. But he well, is rock and roll. I, I would almost assume that at this point, everyone that's doing any kind of filming yeah. has had to buy several, several of the plastic ones that broke down. Right. Eventually, you get to a point where... I am very impressed with his... Uh, I almost want to sell it. That's <laughs> uh, amazing. I'll give you $2 for the one you $2 got. $2 for the one I got. Okay, make sure everything is polished. Uh, what brand gel is that? 
This is my friend, Botino. Botino. Here it is. Is it sound like a fashion magazine? Botino? Is it sound like a fashion magazine? Kind of does a little bit. I am so glad that I, I don't I don't follow the the page um can I name my page Tino Vo because then that would sound normal. It sounds like a name. Right. But Vo Tino sound like a like a fashion magazine. <laughs> GD Jelly. Mine is almost out by the way. I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna take a new one. I only have like a little bit right here. And that is some like glitter in the bottom, so I'm just gonna throw it away. Done with it. All right, I'm using a black brush. Um, we may lose Loving 313. Oh, yeah. Well, she's in the middle of a tornado. She's trying <laughs> to get sucked out of things. So. Loving 313, you better be careful. Well, I think she has no, you know control over that, but what I'm saying is so we would know in case it's reach out to her, she needs to just like slap the keypad and so, get a whole bunch of So the tornado is my swept her away. Love in three one three, if you land in us, you better write us back. Land in us tell Linda I say hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now with this 3D jelly, mm, I love I love to open a new bottle and use it. So I am gonna apply thin layer of 3D jelly all over all four nails. Now you're not building this, okay? You're just using it as a as a top coat, so just a thin layer. Okay, now swipe it down. Now when you swipe, try to give medium speed, not too fast. Good morning, Andy Cody. If you wipe it fast, you might have to restroke it multiple times. So you medium speed. Medium. Mm -hmm. But then the gel will have time to actually land on the nails. Let it see. Land on the nail. What's it? If you stroke fast, see it? See it? I have to restroke it multiple times. What's it? If I stroke it slow, see? It's all right here. Yes. That's very satisfying to watch. Yeah. Yeah. The slow stroke. It like this. Good morning, Ken Dolls. Hi, Ken Dolls Nails. Let's go. Good morning, Abrios. Hi, Abrios. You know what? I just, I just, I think, I think her name's Abby Rose. And we've been saying everything but that. No, she's Span no, she's Spanish. Her name is Abirio. It's Spanish. Oh, I think I think we're wrong. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. We've been wrong before though. Ask her if she prefer me to call her Abby Rose or Abirio. <laughs> With an accent. Abirio. With an accent? Yes. Accent and everything. Last fingers, just this much. Yeah, we had a pretty good storm last night. Tina slept right through it. I slept right through it. I slept like a dead person. Storm is is uh is soothing to me. I never bother when it was stormy. Okay, now you don't hear this. You leave it just right as it is. You don't care this. You're taking a white gel polish out, any brand. 
the white gel polish. I am using the very last of my pigment bay. Look at this. It's all like, oh, I can't wait for it to come. Oh, it's I'm on I'm I'm hmm? She said, she said, Dustin right. <gasps> Abby Rose? Uh-huh. And she said, oh my God. she is not Mexican. Her husband is. Me? Okay, okay, wait, I'm not my right. You made this up. I, <laughs> I was right. It's okay. a bio real. Okay, fine. A you're, right, you're right. I just Gosh. I can't say that. It doesn't work. Huh? A bio real. You know, we do this every time. We run into a stumble word for me and it never works out good. A burrito. A burrito. Okay. So I am gonna make my first line now i'm gonna do a wrinkles okay so i'm gonna curve to the left and then curve to the right and then the left again but smaller like this white gel curve to the left curve to the right and the left again see that smaller good morning quay hollywood hello way hollywood you know what whether we pronounce their names correctly or not, we still love them all. Yes. Except for that one lady. <laughs> Which lady? <laughs> okay, curve to the curve to the right, cut to the left, and then right again. Okay. Let's see. I cut to the right, I cut to the left, and then and go to the right. Okay. To the left, and then I go to the right. Quickly, cut. No, I'm not even trying to pronounce that. Now, right here, I cut to the right, and then cut back. Uh, let me see. Cut to the right. Turn down. Cut to the right, and then cut to the left. Couple quick questions. Yes. First of all, so why did you do the three D gel? It's blooming. See, it? it's blooming. Okay. For Monsieur Jones, did you cure before the white? No, no cure. And then, is this on top of the blooming gel? You can use blooming gel. They're on top of three D three D jelly. Uh, my three D jelly and my sanded are uh, in a blooming formulas. Um, however, my Chanel formula have changed, so now I use my 3D jelly for blooming formula. It's um, it's bloom just like the Chanel, but the time for it to bloom is lower, which is good anyway for most people. So they don't panic. And what is the, the nail theme today? Is 420. Here it is. You can hear this too. And before you cure, you might want to do this. If you have too much gel on, you might want to go ahead and make it. Clean this like that and then cure. This one is ready too. Yeah, I think I got all the questions. If not, re ask. And good morning, Jen. Hi, Jen. Okay, wait for this a little bit. Just a little more. Just a tiny bit more. I'm gonna add some more white gel in the middle. <coughs> Did they get the uh, blue gel formula left for you? I tell her, I, tell, I didn't tell her that, um, I didn't tell her that it's about to bloom. I just give her the formula. Right. And she now she it. say, oh, well, it's the same formulas. So just because I don't establish the blooming ability, uh, now she lied. Just because she thinks that I don't pass a top coat, you know, because right. it's a top coat. But it's a special top coat. Anyway, um, I plan on moving uh, to another person. It just take a while.
All right, this this one ready to bloom too, ready to cure. All right, now let's use white ink. Is Prairie Joe usually sell in a set? Ah, uh, it have it have uh, a set available, but Prairie Joe we sell individual too. Just when you run out of a color, you can just replace it. Okay, now matte top coat. I will apply all over and I will only cure this for eight seconds. So the matte, it can uh, absorb pigment easier. And then I will slap on some white ink before I apply pigment. So what I do now is matte first. So all this is cannot hear pigment because right now it's non cleans Because 3D jelly is non cleans So your purpose for this white bloom is you want it to be bright. See, it's really, really bright. bright. And then you can just use white ink to create like smoke bang to make it look very smoky. And then you put on pigment. If you don't have this white bloom, then it will not be as bright. As when you put a white bloom in there like this, it's brighter. Uh, do you foresee teaching or selling at Premier Orlando? Ah, uh, Premier, I see selling, but no teaching. Don't they teach for free there? Yeah. And we teach for free here. Yeah. So we should go down there and charge. <laughs> no, what what happened is when I demonstrate my product in uh, Orlando Premier, that is teaching too. So I don't see the point in um, doing the a class before or after Orlando. Now, Cindy, think we should. So, uh, but given the right opportunity, cause I don't want to, I don't want to pay anything for it. Uh, you know, really, I wouldn't want to go all the way down there. Plus, I want to teach 20 people. Yeah. When, when I'm in a mode for a uh, demonstrate product, I'm different than when I'm teaching. I know this. So I, I don't, I don't see myself doing that. You know, we just have to go with, you're not like anyone else. So we probably never do anything like anyone else. Okay, now, here, you go ahead and cure for eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, make sure everything is matte. Make sure no shiny anywhere. Because if there's some shine left, just put in a couple of seconds, just to be all matte like this. Now I'm gonna use white ink. Okay. Note in mind that this is not alcohol ink, it's very strong. Uh oh, honey. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be looking for you. For in uh Orlando Premier. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, now are you ready? <laughs> now make sure you shake it well though. Okay. Make sure you let all the pigment, all the dye. Mix together, shake it well, shake it well. Make sure it's all mixed together. Now, open this. Make sure the, the lid is nice and clean. No powder left. And you go ahead and follow the same pattern, but just a little off like this. Okay, do you see that? Do you see what it does to it? Okay, now. Another one, but remember, it's good if it's off. It's good if it's off? Yeah, see a little off. And it's best if you use one fluid motion. See how crazy it's become? Another one. Do it slow if you, if you want, but try your best to do one fluid motion like this. See it? That's, that's mean you have to practice. Um, can 3D jelly be used for crystals? Yes. I will choose a texture effect before I use 3D jelly. Uh, um, I mean, clear texture gel. Good. 
Good I, morning, JD. I got people that use a clear texture gel and give very good feedback on Crystal. Uh, the design is 420. Yes, we start our smoke first for the first day of 420, and then we go on um, auto uh, drawing and all that later. Are you going to be at ABS? Jen Angelini. I think this is one of my favorite designs to see. Is a smoke? Yeah. When you're done, it just looks so cool. Does anyone in here smoke? Mm. I do. I don't know. After yesterday, I, I don't know. I may, I may quit. Why? Why? Well, the the. Le the 96 year old lady that was in line in front of me. Oh, yeah. With her 140 year old mother. It was a great scene. I almost cried. Oh, now people are saying yes for medical reasons. Come for for medical reasons, we don't want recreation. We don't have to hide anymore. You don't have to hide. You can be out and proud now. Right. Admit it. You like it. You love it. And don't tell me it's for anxiety needs <laughs> I, I wouldn't believe it. We're lucky we're on here today. Why? Well, because we got fresh, fresh, better named weed like yesterday. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put Pikmin on this now. <laughs> Kim says so I don't kill annoying clients. I know, right? <clears throat> now, I'm, I'm going to use uh, a teal color first. So I am going to use blue and green and then white first. Pearl says hookah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, honey, there is a lot of pot smokers in here. Of course. They're watching tea now. They gotta be as pot smokers. Right. But don't mistake that for creativity. It's right. nothing to do right. with creativity. Right, because there comes a certain point where you will not function. Yeah. But it does really last me. Absolutely. Okay, see, I mix white in it and become this color. This teal color is my favorite. Yeah. I also make tea. Yeah, yeah. If I grow, if I grow, then I will make tea too. I prefer drinking it than smoking it. And uh, mind that the pigment can be applied over black. It's not going to show up as well, but it's going to give you like a glow effect too. So don't be afraid to do a little bit over the black. Less likely that you're gonna see it, but it's give like a glowy illusion. And make sure that you also include in the teal color in this white, bright, white spot right here. See that? Make sure you also include that. Dust over it, feather over it, let this see it. Now remember, light. It's pushing very, very light. Very lightly, very, very light. Okay. Same thing. Very light, like a lady. Very light. Be very light, be gentle. <coughs> <coughs> D 
this kind of colors i'm gonna apply another white over it i want it to be sort of more even okay let it dry just a little bit Uh, what can you use if you don't have pigments? If you don't have pigments, mm. uh, you might be able to use stained glass gel. It's not going to be as, as soft like this. Plus, you have to blend every color and then cure and then move on to another color because stained glass gel is the gel. But pigment is, you can make it work with pigment stained glass wouldn't be as desirable good morning angel snow tech but you can use stained glass you can use stained glass just make sure that the color is even there's no like marble or anything like that okay now i'm gonna do purple so this purple right here i am gonna mix it with a little, little blue And that's why Stephanie we said um, you can use it, but it's not ideal for practice. Right. Okay, see this purple? It's a little deeper, a little cooler. And then I put some white in it. So it's not like a few shot purple. You see, see, it's a little hotter than this. See, it's a little creamier, a little blue, like a periwinkle purple. So, so basically, the way to compare it would be like, if, you know, the pigment to something else would be like, okay, you're a weed smoker for pain, but substitute with the time. Imagine that. So I wake up in the morning. I'm going to go out and meet my friend. I'm about to put on makeup, but what do I do if I don't have makeup? Well, you can, you can mix in some food colors and all that <laughs> and, and blend. But it's not going to be as good as makeup, you know, like mix some food, some jelly colors, some, some like jello. That, that some jello? Yeah, or, or um, that, that drink that make people stand their tongue, oh. you know, Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid. Kool -Aid. Yeah, Kool -Aid. Kool -Aid. So you can put on some Kool-Aid, like let some pink Kool-Aid on your eyelashes and wait for it to dry. It's not like makeup because makeup, you can just go on good enough colors. Well, with Kool-Aid, you have to wait for the Kool-Aid to dry first before you put in like a purple Kool-Aid ombre. <laughs> okay, and for, for your cheek, you have to like mix some like tan Kool-Aid and <laughs> slap it all over the face, but you have to let it dry first. Before you put in like a darker Kool-Aid and uh, you know, some pink Kool-Aid for blushing, but it's not gonna look as good at makeup. It's not gonna look as even. It's gonna look splotchy if you're not talented at mixing Kool-Aid. Kool yeah, so so just be aware that you can always use Kool-Aid for your makeup, but it's better to use makeup. <laughs> All right, that's a great way of making people understand. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, would resin mica powder work? Uh, it would be like... A... If it's not glittery and shimmery. Uh, if it's shimmery, it's work for pigment, but not for this design because the shimmer would distract uh, the smoke paint. So just remember, you can use cool it tomorrow, but make sure you buy a box of makeup <laughs> so you can use it later and be pretty to go see your friend, okay? Make sure. Don't show up with Kool Aid all the time. It'll look ratchet at hell. And your friend <laughs> wouldn't like you. They're like, what's wrong with you? And then you have to explain for them that you haven't go buy makeup yet. <laughs> or you should pretend like nothing going on. <laughs> You'd be like, what do you mean? I you makeup. But you know, your work can lie. You cannot lie to your work. It's show. It's show to everything. Oh, man. I love you, baby. Okay. <laughs> Last one. Oh, pigment base will be in, hopefully, within the next... One and a half week. 
a portion of room. I told you, at the moment it goes to the United States, it will take like a few days for it to arrive. Well, that's coming together real beautiful and quick. Thank you. Now, this color scheme, I suggest you follow a exact color scheme. It's not a rainbow. It's not like, a, uh, usually people will go purple without mixing purple, pink, orange, yellow, and green. This now green is a teal, and this is a cool purple. So this is a specific color scheme that I plan out. Pink will be next, but of course, will be a little white. So the pink is not too heavy, neither. Not pastel pink, just a little white to make it a little lighter, that's so. all. Lightly. Remember, if it does shoot in a round, then tap it on the table so the dust can um, be removed before you apply this on. It will make it easier for you. Circle of motion. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, Snow Tech. Um, we got your DM. I screenshotted the stuff for him. But oh. then we went out last night and kind of had a date night. Oh, she sent some, me something? Yes, yes, and, and it was right before we were getting ready to leave. Okay. And I said, I am not going to allow her to ruin another evening with my beautiful, blessed Tino. And you see here, if you, because a uh, human natural reaction will be stroke it right. But you have to know that there is layers. There's a different layer on it. So if you ever have a hard time uh, having it here evenly, instead of stroking, you curve it just a little bit, like a, like a circular motion. You, know, you can make sure that it's go in the spot that you want. Look at this beauty about to happen. What is the white polish you use after matte? Coat? Mm. Is it regular polish? No. Um, remember, the question is, what is the white polish you use after the matte coat? No, there is no white polish after the, um, the matte coat. There is white ink after the matte coat. And this white ink is art ink. It's kind of like a liquid ink. It's very strong. It can stand on black. Okay. So this is a white ink that I use. It's very important. Now, before that, I just use 3D jelly. If you don't have 3D jelly, you use blooming gel. It'll be the same thing. And you use a white gel. It don't have to be pigment based. You can just use like a white polish. And then you give yourself a nice bloom. Make sure that it's bright and the edge is faded. And then you put on matte and then you put ink on. And remember, matte only cure. This matte only cure for eight seconds. So, so the the pigment it can stay on the matte coat too and it's also right here on the ink so now you can see all these veins starting to come alive um this process the step have to be followed completely 100 percent. you cannot skip any step at all every step is necessary to construct design from and when you practice, I recommend try your best to make me the pattern that I'm using instead of going crazy. You make me my pattern first, then after you succeed on it, which don't expect it to be the first try, neither. But if you succeed on it, then you can start making your own smoke pattern. But first, just follow this pattern. It's well taught out. I have taught it out. The, 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 the curve, you have to follow the curve. And when I say, from here, I turn to the left, I curve to the left, right? I'm, I mean that you have to do exactly like that. Curve from this side, you curve all the way to the left side, you go back, and you go back, you, 
it's the same curve but to the right side and then you curve again but only a little bit people mess up on this this part they curve to the left and then come here and they stop or something or curve to the left and they come here and then they curve again but they did not curve to the right it's not a proper flow can you hand me the no no pass so i can demonstrate for them people mistake please okay so what i do is this i yeah i got pen from here from one side of the nails right i curve to the left and then i curve to the right and then i curve to the left again see that but people do this a lot they curve to the left and then and then when it comes to here they they suddenly stop for some reason like like they didn't plan out the pattern before they touch they press in the surface so now they can only afford to plan out one curve and then come here they stuck so they stop a little bit and then they decide to curve again okay so so they come here they did not curve again they come here they stop curve to the left and then stop and then curve to the left again okay okay and then the bottom will be the same as the top and then most people um some some people are able to curve to the left and then and then maybe they afford another curve and then they just they just sort of like drip away okay so remember the trick is to plan out your pattern first left curve right curve small left curve plan it out first before you go ahead and dive into it you know and then most people they they able to make this but not like this like they will they will curve to the left okay and then they're able to curve to the right and then they're able to curve to the left again but they did not plan it out and it's still you know yeah. all over the now so a now instead of having deep contrast it'd be like this it'd be like curve to the left and curve to the right and then curve to the left again to the right again all the way down so the whole thing will be colored so no contrast you see the contrast you see the color and the black you have to have the black background you cannot cover everything in in colors then you're not going to see the smoke be very careful on your pattern i would do it one more time but once you get it it's easy when you get it it's easy curve to the left big curve curve to the right and just a small one to the left again to end it right on this side oh and by the way another one another thing <laughs> is I love Ben and Rosa says, I own up to some of these mistakes. And another thing is, okay, so if they successful cut to the left, right, and then they successful cut to the right, and then they successful cut to, a little bit to the left, and then they sort of like, uh, you know, so make sure that you, you, this side is big, and then this side you end it right here on the right. Okay, so I'm going to do it one more time. Cut to the left. Cut to the right, a small cut to the left, and end on the right side, going down. See, cut and then going down. That is beautiful right here. And people do this a lot. They they curve to the left, curve to the right, curve to the left, and then they just go in like that. See that? They did not sway down. They go in and then stop. So it looks like flubber. No, you, you don't go in. Left right left and then going down see that the sway down okay this insert bits okay back to the pattern so make sure you study the pattern and you try to do the pattern before you go crazy on your pattern you can make any pattern you like but um mix -mix in my pattern would train you on curving the smoke have to be fluid one stroke so if they get done, it doesn't look right, they know what they've done wrong. Yes. And remember, when I do the ink, I do one fluid stroke, and that is, that is difficult. It's not, it's not uh, for the fans at heart, because most people, they will stop somewhere, and then they keep going to stop somewhere, and you can see all this plop in the smoke pattern. So make sure it's one fluid motion.
you just note there. Because I love Pino's shape analysis. It's so true that the eye is drawn to the fluid motion. Yeah. Very and and a lot of people, um, <clears throat> they they don't dissect the the cup, you know. So when they see me doing the cup, they're like, "Well, I do, I do three cups, you know, one cup, two cups, three cups." You have to actually really pay attention to how big the cup is, how small right. the cup is. The first stroke coming mm -hmm. out. I'm glad you're doing this particular because me and smoke design is one of the funnest ones. Yeah. And once they eliminate a few of the small mistakes. And it's not it's not difficult to operate those patterns. It's just that it's only difficult if they don't pay attention to that. That is when it's difficult because then they're misleading. They 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 Go another way. And then once they get frustrated, they immediately actually stop thinking about. And they just keep work yeah. going crazy. When people are not paying attention and the first pattern are wrong, they, they go crazy. They're like, oh, mm. they just keep waving. Right, trying to, try to make it happen. Yes. No. So probably they should just start over. Focus is a key on this. Focus. Just a light touch of tangerine, not much. And I will end it with a light yellow. All right, Aunt Deb, you, you enjoy the rest of the day. Bye-bye, Aunt Deb. Adios, hasta luego. the other people you obviously love more than us. <laughs> can you believe she loves her daughter more than us? Oh, you know thank you, Linz. Ah. Oh my God, thank you, Linz, for sending me the Corva Bell. I, know, right? I love the Corva Bell. I love his little nose, so cute. See, a cool little bell. Oh, we can't see Quali there. It's hanging right there. What? Oh, you couldn't see Quali? can't see Quali. I love Quali. I love to sleep with Quali. Yeah. And then yellow. And white on the yellow. light though not much there stop see that don't go crazy don't go crazy just stop okay from the tangerine go don't ruin your blue now stop in time don't ruin your blue your teal i mean this aqua colors there you go stop there you See, another thing you want to avoid is you don't ever want your smoke to be solid. What I mean solid is like solid purple, solid pink, solid orange. Then it just looks like a little blob. It needs to be whiskey somehow. It needs to have vein. That's why you use the ink. It has smoke vein. See that? Just see that? Huh? Now I am going to I'm going to continue killing this because this only kills for 8 seconds. So I'm gonna keep on killing this. Pop it in. Here. And I will add twinkle around this. Need some ink I have left over. I'm not gonna take the paper towel to have pigment on it because uh, pigment is elimination. Sit through the paper towel and it just makes it messier. So uh, a new paper towel. Good morning, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. That I think that was correct, right? SLMS. What? What? Isn't that Sherry? S L M S. I don't. I don't know her name. Is it Sherry? I work horrible, horrible. Oh, oh, 
You know, I may do that when they play. Okay, now. I am going to map this. Okay. Can you map it? Now remember, don't forget to finish here. Good. That is a very common mistake. Is when you keep for a second and then you put all the ink <coughs> on and then you put all the pigment on. Most people will forget to finish the cure. I just cured it again for sixty seconds before I top coat it. Here again. Do you see the smoke vein? You see that? You see the smoke vein? That's what you need. That's what I mean by you don't want it to be solid. You don't want it to be um, a solid purple, a solid pink, a solid blue, uh, orange, yellow, and a solid green. You're not going to see anything. You can't see a, a little blob. No, you need to see smoke. That is the purpose of the ink. Here. Good morning, Andrea. Lightly over the mat, slowly there. Here. Again with this. Huh. It's an emergency that flows from Saskatchewan to Canada. Some awesome tips. Wish I would have known this last week. <laughs> no worry. No worry. But, but now that, now that, I, uh, <laughs> now you appreciate the ease. Yes, you know? yes. Darn it. She doing this last week, isn't she? <sighs> oh, you know what? But no, I, I don't regret that. I don't regret that. You shouldn't regret that. Because I'm glad you make mistakes. Because a person needs to make mistakes so they will appreciate it when they get it right. They will know much better than a person that just stumble in and make everything right. They're not going to have a chance to go through the mistake. So later on in life, it might cast them off guard. But now, you know, oh, it's like this because I didn't do this. It's like that because I did this. I add this. That is also part of the process. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. Now when you do it again, you'll be like, uh-huh. Thank you, Angels. Now, the, Look at this pattern. Look at this pattern, you guys. Now, uh, another thing is when you, when you first um, apply pigment on, pigment is dry, right? So it might seem like you don't see the vein. It seems like, oh, let's go over all of it. Don't worry. Just have faith that when you put top coat on, you can see all this vein revealing, all this vein. And you must notice that some part is much lighter. It seems like it don't, soak, it, it don't soak up as much as some part, like especially near the edge, near the edge of the smoke vein. It takes a lot of pigments. You like that, like, like that, trust me. You don't want to try your best to make it solid. Right now, it looks exactly like smoke. It looks like colorful smoke. Like <laughs> you want it to be inconsistent in colors. That's why we play with multiple layers. All right, you guys. Now I am going to put some twinkles. I'm dressing up some twinkles. Okay. Just a little bit, not much. Not doing everything just a little bit so the smoke technique is what i want to introduce first um because the second and third light i'm gonna step into the team um i i want to make a neon lines i did one before an abstract form this time i make a realistic neon line i don't know i don't know <laughs> um but something neon something psychedelic um, i also want to make like Oh, of course, draw some uh, wheat leaf or whatever it is. And I also want to make some like drippy, like smiley face stuff going on. So that is kind of like my vision ish. So, we get three Easter designs and 45, 420 designs. No, just a couple. So much. Just a couple. So much fun, though, isn't it? Yeah. All right. 
Now, I am going to have some white art gels. Where is it? Oh, right there. And have some white art gel out. Oh, hell's now. Oh, hell's now. Go get some rest, hell now. You, you are there. We That's love it. you No, no. Um, we done. I'm just dressing up with some sparkles. We done. Um, yesterday and today, I, I felt, I wake up, I feel very sharp because I just started eating healthy. I didn't, <laughs> I started to eat chakudri and all that healthy food and um, berries and all that, nuts and, uh, you know, like good cheese and all that. so i wake up and i feel very sharp it's only been an hour we're almost done already mm -hmm. i feel very very sharp in these last couple of days and then last night though i almost ruined it for us didn't i yes you didn't say it like that baby i was hungry yeah eating all these damn berries and nuts is not it's healthy doesn't have oxtail last night mm. shame it's good shame, shame. I had like two pounds of berries and nuts before that. You can't just do all of the health for once in a chakra system. Every time that I do tinkles, just because it's not a difficult design, not a difficult pattern, sometimes I go too fast. And when I go too fast, I end up with ugly tinkles. And I really want the tinkle to be pretty. With a sharp horn. I just pour it out. Good morning, Lens. Slowly. Slowly. So make sure that it's pointy. That is one thing that I'm very easily um, neglect when I do twinkle. Sometimes I end up with ugly twinkles. Uh, yeah. They ship to Ecuador. Yes. Come to visit. As soon as you mention food, I'm hungry. I know. I know. Try my best to keep it cohesive when I pour down. Everything is cohesive. Cohesive meaning the first dot is like this, the second dot is like this, versus uncohesive meaning the first is like this, the second is like like this. You know, that incoherent. So I try to keep it parallel. <clears throat> what gel are you using? I'm using art gel. I'm just looking for extreme control right now. Um, when it comes to lining, I always chew art gel. Your line doesn't blend together. Stay put. Just like this. Fourteen year doing nails, and I still do ugly twinkle now and then, just because I, I don't pay attention to it. So make sure you keep, uh, take it seriously with your twinkle too, even though it's just a simple little things. Make sure you see this part. I don't like this. See that part? I don't. Not a big fan. So I wouldn't twinkle right here to cover it. Cover the shame. Cover the shame? Cover the sham away. <laughs> you guys are lucky to see the backstage. Usually you don't you don't see uh, the shameful part of people design. You're lucky that I tell you. Well hell's and hells, I got good news. We we are right on Route 66. Yes. She passed by here? No, no, no. She lives in Germany, Hellsnails. Oh. 
but she has got her motorcycles license or in the middle of getting it. Oh my God. And it is her dream to come over here and cruise down Route 66. You kidding? She I'm know not. she know about Rusi. How did she know about Rusi? I don't know. It's, is it like famous? It like is. She... It's very iconic. <laughs> Rusi, see? Why? I don't know. I have no idea. Why is it iconic? I, I think it's like one of the first highways that went from one side of the United States. To the I other. am such a bad American. Oh my God, I am a horrible American. I have no idea. <laughs> But maybe because you're a great American, but a bad driver. No, so maybe it's because it's close to us. So I have no idea. That's that's really what it is. Because um, we take way too many things for granted. Because we we speak to a uh, person from uh, Switzerland before mm -hmm. that they come here for uh um for schooling. Oh. No. We ask them about the colliding uh um. The how they how they uh kaleidoscope. The how done kaleidoscope. They have no idea. Super collider. The super, super collider <laughs> that they use iron and they smash them together to make me the big bang effect. Which is not. <laughs> I just safe. wonder what, what they would do when it happened. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what they do. That's, that's all the conspiracy about Mandela effect. Mm, because there's rumor that our universe was destroyed multiple times and we are not living in the same uh, universe. Yes. We are, um, mm, like, no. I swear that Looney Tune is used to be T O O N, but now it's T U N E, so it's definitely a different, different, um, parallel universe. Different universe. Yeah, it's a, a it's, parallel. It's a different existence. universe. We'll yeah. What else? Uh, oh, the Monopoly man. I swear he always has uh, an monocle, eyeglass. Yeah. He doesn't do that. He doesn't have a, 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 a monocle. I still feel like he did. He don't. He don't have it's, The monocle never exists. But yeah. the, the good news is if you subscribe to that theory, then all the shit that you think you remember you did horrible back in the past, it never happened. It's so never so happened. we just live in a different universe. So that is a rumor that the how that uh, the super collider have uh, actually succeed on the Big Bang multiple times know, right? and it's blow everything up and now poop we here we are right. <laughs> no ideas. But the point of the, the the situation was she was from she was from Switzerland. Switzerland yes and so I thought this is the perfect time to find out something about you know the super collider and she had no idea that that was in her country which scares me because I feel like that would be something that a country would be proud of. Right. But then they kept it all hush hush and I feel like they didn't want people to know they were building this super collider. Super trap. Super bomb. I'm I'm scared of it. I'm Personally. I'm i I'm I do intrigue with scientific uh, creation, but I am so scared of the mimicking of the Big Bang. Why in the world would you want to study that? No, the Prinkle guy also had a monocle, and so did Mr. Uh, uh, they don't. Well, actually, I don't know about the Prinkle guy, but the planter's peanut. But I know for sure, as a kid who grew up with no damn technology, uh, toys were board games, and we were poor people and only had three, I had nothing else to look at or anything else to distract my mind. I know that Mr. Monopoly had a monocle. Nope, they don't. It's Not never now. it's never exists in history. Ever. Since the days that it was made, it's never had a monocle. Tell me that we're not in the same universe anymore. I, I don't feel like it. Well, among many things. Uh be, uh bear sign? Bear Right. Bear sign. Bearstein. And, and, and being a hillbilly, and they taught us how to spell by how it sounds. Bearstein. I feel like I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, because I would have said stain. The white powder, it just clear acrylic. Mommy's are popping. Um, and you can use any brand. I'm using Jesus. Just clear. See, that's clear. I'm using Chiso. Um, You can just use whatever. Just make sure that it's clear, clear. Um, you can use lipping powder too. But I have 
always you acrylic. Don't worry, Anna, Anna love it. It will be saved. Yes, it will be saved. Look at this, you guys. Don't you love it? This is a start, though. This is just a technique. I wouldn't even consider this a design. Smoking technique. Look at that. This set, mm, I would personally only charge like uh, 150 for this set because I already complete, I don't need to practice. So if I don't need to practice, I can sweep it out really fast. When you first start to do this, it's not going to be easy on the pattern. I mean, you're gonna be able to replicate, you're gonna be able to follow all the steps. However, following the step is, is, is one thing, but I want you to be able to make it this fluid. Okay, so when you practice, you practice and then you look back at this and you say, am I there yet? Because if you are um, not stable on the pattern, it's gonna be like 200, 250 or 300 because it's gonna take you a long time. But um, if you practice well, when you succeed this, you're gonna whip it out so fast. Mm, I would say it took you an hour for a set. So with that, I wouldn't judge too much. I like charge 150 or whatever. Um, if I add crystal in it, probably uh, 50 more bucks for all 10 fingers, just, just like some black crystal scattering out. Um, but I suggest that take it seriously on practice because uh, one of the things that um, the art in this is blending. So pigment blending, as I said before, land work is number one. Pigment blending is number two. Though two things is not knowledge that you just know. You have to practice to gain muscle memory. You have to gain muscle memory on blending and you have to gain muscle memory on land work. That are the two things that the more you practice, the better you get. That's plain and simple. Um, so make sure that when you practice, you note two things. Number one is the sway, okay? You might as well do it on the piece of paper first because you need to be able to do it on one motion like this, like this, one motion. See, I'm not stopping, okay? Don't do this. It's not gonna work like this at all. I'm telling you, it's not gonna work like this. Because you're working with effects. Effect meaning you draw the pattern on wet 3D jelly for it to bloom. If you stop like this, when it's bloom out, it's going to look funny. You don't want it to look funny. You want one fluid motion. So when it's bloom, it will be one, one whole line that are blooming out. Number one. Number two is the ink. Also one fluid motion. Because remember, it's ink. It's have pattern, it have vein. So if you stop right in the middle, it can have a wheel of vein going on. Again, fluid motion. That's require a lot of practice on just on just plain nail. Don't 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 do people do like black nail and they do 3D jelly and then they do the, the, the bloom and then they do the mat and then they do the ink and they fail, right? They fail. So what they do is they take our new nails and then they start those step again. They start black the 3D jelly, the bloom, the mat. Don't do that. Don't do that. Take out a plain nail like this. Take out a plain nails and then and then use ink only and then practice your pattern first. Okay. Take out the plain nail, boost 3D jelly on there and practice your pattern with gel first. So practice first. You don't have to do all the steps. You practice your motion. And when you're confident, that's when you do all the steps. You see the pigment blend and all that, that's just extra. The two important things you have to practice is that fluid motion, that mm -hmm. curve, that train your wrist, because your wrist doesn't move that way. Wrist doesn't naturally move that way. In order for you to see the next level, you have to train your wrist to move. Wrist control is crucial. When you move like this, your wrist and your finger have to flow. Because if it doesn't flow, Oh, it stopped. That's it. It's over. Make sure you train that. It's very healthy for you. It's an exercise. Very healthy. So let me see if I got this straight. Since that's healthy, if I just do that all day, can I get some pizza? 
You can. <laughs> after you practice that, you can get a pizza because you probably burn a lot of calories after you practice. <laughs> Just on your hands, though. All right. Everyone, that is for today is a rainbow smoke. And I will also uh, post this after five minutes. Whoop. After I'm done, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and the color uh, is very well tied. I remember these purple and this blue of a mix specifically. Teal, blue, green, and white. Purple is purple, blue, just a little blue, and then white. So remember, it's taught, well thought out on colors. Go ahead. Uh, I was making sure we answered Hells and Hells question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And if not, you can just DM us and we'll go from there. And he nailed it. I will not be on tomorrow. And tomorrow I have a, a back appointment. Um, so I will not be on tomorrow. I will be on Friday. Friday I'll be on again at 11 a.m. Central Time. Hello, Costa Rico here. Thank you so much. You are welcome, uh, Sure 89 Enjoy it very much. Thank you, Tino and Dustin. You are welcome. Uh, S-O-M. Bye-bye, Ken Darnells. Have a good day. What mm, will be the substitute for white ink? Oof. You can you can experiment with some, uh, like if you have alcohol ink, like you can experiment with it. But I tried white alcohol ink before, and it's just very difficult for me to put it on and make sure that it stands out. Uh, I choose this white art ink, and I have it specially made for the smoke first before all the F other effect um, start to uh, emerge, I made this for smoke. Um, what, for back in the day, I have experimented with so many things. That's why I decided that I want to make the ink specifically for this purpose. And after I made it, I discovered more things that it can do. But remember, you, you can experiment with all thing before so you will know that's how you get good yes i don't answer questions instead of you just telling them yes and you will know why you need white ink <laughs> um you look so cute and i love your work thank you tanya zanga uh you're welcome kishika uh sure thing can you me all right everyone bye bye zara did you use white gel before using pigment yes yes i did so i put on 3d jelly and keep it. They want to hear you say slay. Slay? Slay. Slay. Uh, I put on um, clear 3D jelly and then I put on white gel. So it starts to bloom out. That's why you see this part where it's really bright. Like, like this part in the middle where it's really, really bright. And then the part outside is not as bright. So that is a blooming part. So it's really bright. And after I have like a line of blooming uh, white gel, I cure and then I seal it with matte. But the matte, I only cure it for eight seconds because I need to adhere pigment. So I cure only eight seconds. I take it out. I use my white ink immediately. I'm moving through it. Okay. And I don't move in the same pattern. I, I cannot go a little off. So it have all these veins like this. See, instead, instead of curving with this, I, I go in and then I curve out a little bit. So the vent is piercing through the blooming. That is when I apply pigment on. So it can look like this. For you, you to record iPhone, and you iPhone to record. Hey, thank you, Isara. Okay. Can you save the video? Yes, I, Tata, I saved all my life. So you must be new. Um, so every day I go online. Uh, in most day of the week, and then um, I save all my life after my live stream. I don't do the thumb because on my main page, Votino, I also um, doing like one minute video on the thumb. So make sure that if you new, know that my safe life it is on tinovo.shop on the Instagram page. Tinovo.shop. I have two page. One is vo.tino. One is tinovo.shop. So what vo.tino is a bigger page, I post a one minute video and teasers. And then the smaller page, I do live content. I save live content. So the lives are on tinovo.shop. Yeah, tinovo.shop. All right, everyone, a big crystal tinkle would be so cute. I think so too. I think so too. 
um where can i see the recording is this on tina voda shop remember that on on the instagram page named tina voda shop i think you have like 108,000 follow that is a page you, uh, you want to watch the live on uh, the one that have uh, 480,000 that is the um that is a page where i post like teaser i'm teasing you in that page it's, uh, teasing page. it's a teasing page all right everyone Bye-bye now. I will see you.